Hi, it's Catherine from the Alexandria Museum of Art. We're here to continue our video series on our collection gallery exhibition, Connected Visions. Today, we're gonna to start at the beginning, and that is with the Woodward Brothers. Artwork from the Woodward Brothers first came to the museum through Bolton High School, oddly enough. Early in the 20th century, one of the senior classes had donated two paintings by Ellsworth Woodward to the school. Those pieces hung at the school until they were discovered by a past curator here at the museum. When the school board realized what they had in their possession, they reached out to us and asked us to hold them on long-term loan for their safety. Since that time, they have served to be an anchor for two different exhibits here at the museum. One that was an exhibit of works just by the two brothers, and now they are the anchor of this exhibit, Connected Visions. Hi, I'm Madeline Anderson, and I'm in charge of taking care of the art here at the museum. Today we're going to talk about the Woodward Brothers and how they not only contributed to the New Orleans art scene, but to Louisiana art history at large. William Woodward came here in 1884 as the professor of architecture for Tulane University. He eventually ended up founding the College of Architecture, which is still active today. Whenever he wasn't in the classroom, he was out in the French Quarter painting all the beautiful architecture that was around him. Now, this was about the time that they started to show signs of wear and decay because of age and the climate. This ended up leading to his second career in historic preservation and actively fought to keep these buildings like the Cabildo up and standing and pristine like we see them today. He also was a huge figure in the founding of Newcomb College. He worked very closely with Josephine Newcomb to start the university in honor of her daughter, H. Sophie. What was really great about that is the fact that he designed the entirety of the layout and all the buildings, so he really does have a physical presence on campus. Now, we're gonna shift a little bit and we're gonna go talk about his brother Ellsworth, who came over to New Orleans to join his brother at Tulane only a year later. He was focused more on the painting and he was very interested in the arts and crafts movement that was active around this time. It was when people really started focusing on local arts and crafts such as basket weaving, woodworking, and earthenware pottery such as new compots. And it was a really big reaction to the industrialization at the end of the 20th century. Ellsworth was especially interested in this. And because of this passion for local arts and crafts, he founded New Compottery. Now, he describes it as the greatest expression of locality in Louisiana art. And when you look at the scope of New Compottery, it is a great dictionary for Louisiana flora. You can go out in the countryside on a nice walk and you can see just about everything on those pots in person. That's what made it really special. Ironically though, the demand for Newcomb Pottery became so great that production of these pots became almost factory-like, which was very much so anti what the arts and crafts movement was all about. Just a pushing against the industrialization of the modern world. That's just a taste of what we offer here at the Alexandria Museum of Art. If you want to learn more, come by the museum and see all of the beautiful examples we have on display by both of the brothers. You'll not only get a really great idea of their influences and inspirations, you'll get to see just how expansive their legacy is in Louisiana art and art history.